Hello and hi everybody, we're back with another video. Now this time, we are doing another uh, microphone video. This one is titled... <sighs> oh my god, this is... This is this is beginning to be funny at this point. <laughs> so you guys, if you have not yet seen my last reaction of me reacting to this channel, it was the first video of me reacting from this channel, and it's about the whole OBJ situation about him signing with the Dallas Cowboys and it's not happening for some fucking reason. And literally right after I was finished recording for the day, this video uploaded and reading the title, I was like, huh? Dallas Cowboys signed Pro Bowl wide receiver officially passed on Od Odell Beckham Jr. I'm like, no, there's no way. So I went on Instagram, looked on the NFL uh, official NFL page, and yep, it's 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 been confirmed. The Cowboys signed T.Y. Hilton from the Colts, officially passing on OBJ. After after like this last month, they've been discussing about signing obj but now they sign another guy why i have no idea so that's why i'm coming back on my setup i was just i was laying down just chilling and then the video popped up i'm like nope time to get back up to the setup see what the fuck is going on why the hell did the cowboys sign ty hilton instead of obj and i know people are going to be in the comments be like oh salty eagles fan oh fuck that fuck that shit this is ridiculous this is laughable Anyways, with that being said, before I get into this, click the original link in the description down below. <laughs> I can't even speak, I'm frustrated. Click the original link in the description down below. Watch the original video. Subscribe to Microphone if you have not yet already. So yeah, with that being said, we're just going to get right into this and stop talking. So yeah, here we go. I don't feel like Saquon Barkley and I got to do what we were supposed to do. That's right. That's right. I have to get eyes on him, so. And before I continue on with this video... There might be some things that might trigger some people. They'll be like, oh, it's not true. Th this happened, this happened, this happened. Like if I say something that's like untrue at all, or it's like out of top, uh, out of top, it makes no sense. If I say something that's not true at all, I apologize. It's just like, I don't know too much about this OBJ situation. Well, I kind of know some things about it, but like watching micros, micro. <laughs> microphones videos about this situation really like gives me more deeper information about this whole thing because if i'm not watching these videos then i'm just thinking outside the box like this i'm like thinking deeply about this situation like that last video i learned a lot this video i'm probably gonna learn a lot more about how this is how fucking laughable the dallas cowboys are as a franchise <sighs> hopefully i can't say nothing Cowboys. It looks like Go our Cowboys. prediction on Saturday morning on Odell Beckham Jr. is at least trending in the direction of being true, although he hasn't officially made up his mind yet. One gigantic piece of information that resulted in a huge plot twist in the OBJ free agency tour resulted in his most likely team being out on it because they officially signed someone else today. So yep. before we get to the content, we're doing a ton of giveaways for the holidays on my Twitter and on my Instagram page. All you have to do is be followed and on my Notifications on. Now we get all that out of the way. Brick. Brick. I love his intro. Brick. I wish I had an intro like that. Oh my god, this is fucking ridiculous. This cowboy signing another guy to really leaving OBJ. What the fuck happened now? They're like, oh, we don't want OBJ anymore. Mike check one two one two. What's going on, everybody? I know there's a pretty good chance that not everyone necessarily caught my video on Saturday morning. And here I just reacted to it like not even thirty minutes ago, and here I am reacting to this video because it just popped up. Okay. <laughs> so yes, I did cop the last video microphone. What the fuck? Else? What you have to know because it will irritate you if you really put into perspective how far we've come along in the Odell Beckham Jr. story. I mean, let me take you back about a month ago where the very first report we got on November 6, 2022 is that Odell Beckham Jr. ACL is expected to be fully cleared by the end of the week per Jake Laser. I want you to remember that because this is going to be a huge storyline of this video. Two weeks following that report, Odell Beckham Jr. tweeted 
this in response to the Dallas Cowboys going crazy against the Minnesota Vikings, delivering a definitive victory against the Vikings and making the Dallas Cowboys case for signing OBJ even stronger. Multiple Dallas Cowboys recruited him following this, from Demarcus Lawrence to Micah Parsons, and of course, Jerry Jones would never miss out on an opportunity to hype up the city. So is this like a, like, is this like exactly like the clip from the last video? Because I'm like, am I watching the same video or is <laughs> what the hell is going on? But I think this is just like him recapping what's going on, what happened in the last video. Situation, so he would go on to say this. Well, yes, but, uh, uh, and I believe it's okay. This skeleton. You're here with this way, you're here with this way, yeah. No, I just said yes, and I, I, I believe it at that. Your, your statement was after Thanksgiving, and that's the yes. I'm not saying just when. I'm not trying to be cute. We sure. just don't have that what, set up. What do you need to see? We're planning to get together. What do you need to see from the medical? Again, I'm, I'm just, uh, we're certainly it's time for us to uh, sit down and visit. And that's when things started to get very crazy. I mean, you had Mike McCarthy saying, we really love our wide receiver group, but with reagent wide receiver OBJ, I've always been a huge fan of his. I've just heard so many excellent, excellent things about him. For the most part, it looked like it was a foregone conclusion that the Dallas Cowboys were going to sign OBJ. I mean, everything seemed to be sunshine and rainbows until the Cowboys actually had their meeting with Odell Beckham Jr. And once they had their meeting, it seemed like things started to shift a little bit. It went from the Cowboys begging Odell Beckham Jr. to sign with them yeah. all the way to the Cowboys having some questions about whether or not OBJ could play at all. It, like, it seems like the Cowboys were, like, begging OBJ to come. Like, the players were, like, tweeting, saying, come, come to Dallas, come to Dallas, come to Dallas, them boys. <laughs> it's like they were begging him. But for some reason, he just does not want to go for some, <laughs> I don't. I'm too frustrated. I can't even. Print, I can't even say words. Oh, immediately following his meeting with the Cowboys, not his meeting with the Bills, not his meeting with the Giants, we had a report where OBJ stated that probably couldn't play in the regular season this year, and he would debut in the NFL playoffs. Which don't get me wrong. I mean, we've seen some crazy stuff. We saw Baker Mayfield prepare for a Thursday night football game within 48 hours of signing with the team. Would a team that really be comfortable throwing Odell Beckham? Junior out there for their very first game in the NFL playoffs? I don't know. You never know what teams are thinking. But what originally were rumors like Odell Beckham Jr. telling Micah Parsons that he will be ready to play in about five weeks from December 7th turned into Odell Beckham Jr. going on the shop and saying point blank to a national audience that he doesn't see a point in playing in the regular season. I would like to, to be in a stable environment, get up 6 a.m leave at 6 p.m. for four weeks and then let's talk about it i've played football for a long time i'm not saying that i couldn't step in and play regular season but i don't see the point i really don't like i would rather play when that pressure's on i'd rather play when the lights is on like i went through the whole playoffs and i was after having my first bad playoff experience, like, I, all I was ready for was to clear that off my name. And what was even crazier is at this point, on top of the fact that OBJ didn't see a point in playing in the regular season, he also kind of made a pitch at his old team. I don't feel like Saquon Barkley and I got to do what we were supposed to do. Which is wild, man. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys pitch to Odell Beckham Jr. was insane. You had him showing up in a Dallas Cowboys letterman jacket to a Dallas Mavericks game. You had Luka Doncic recruiting him as well. I tried. I tried. I have to get eyes on him, so hopefully. I can't say nothing. Go For some reason, Des Bryant showed up to the game, which shout out to Des Bryant. I actually love how into the Dallas Cowboys he's been since his retirement, but that should give you an idea of how much of a spectacle the Dallas Cowboys recruitment of OBJ was. And that all essentially disintegrated. That all went into dust today. Okay, or now now we're back at point. So the last five minutes is just like a recap of what happened in the last video, like the video that I just reacted to like 30 minutes ago. Now we're getting into the uh, what just happened today. The Cowboys signing T.Y. Hil Hil Hilton. <laughs> just like all these rumors about OBJ going to the Cowboys, it's 
they've been going crazy okay like i remember the first time i've heard these news on twitter i'm like oh my god what the f the cowboys out of all teams really <laughs> i would even go on a rant on twitter being like oh my god all oh, this shit also if you haven't followed me yet on twitter go ahead and do that <laughs> i talk so much shit there <laughs> shameless plug anyways odell made it known that he wouldn't be able to play for the regular season at this point you might be wondering like what gives this is a carbon copy of your video on saturday morning which for the most part i felt like those details were essential just so you could understand how much of a circus this has been so yeah. far because the dallas cowboys are officially out of the obj sweepstakes and to be honest i can't necessarily blame them odell beckham jr came on and another thing that's funny is that since i'm an eagles fan i'm following all these eagles pages about news and reports about stuff going on with the organization organization they're saying that the eagles could possibly trade or not trade but sign obj and i'm like come on dude don't start this sh again come on man <laughs> I'm, I'm, that's, I'm just gonna leave it at that his platform told us multiple times he wants a michael gallup like deal which i don't think the cowboys have the facilities to offer him a michael gallup like yeah deal, they don't have a lot of cap space he might not be able to play until the playoffs start those are two big things that the cowboys just cannot offer Odell yeah. right now one it doesn't make a lot of sense to sign another wide receiver to a michael gallup deal when you have freaking michael gallup on your team to begin with <laughs> cd lamb is going to expect some money in a couple of years as well and although yeah the dallas cowboys do miss amari cooper i'm not necessarily sure how much this risk is going to pay off for the cowboys i mean if odell beckham jr booms then fantastic you still would have a ton of money invested in your wide receiver core assuming you pay him what he wants but on top of that it just doesn't sound like smart business to invest in a 30 year old wide receiver who is still recovering from his second acl injury yeah. which i know the first one was botched but still second acl injury when you're already okay on offense i mean that yeah. was even better than okay point? i'd say you're doing pretty well on offense you have a good stable of running backs your offensive line is still one of the best in the nfl you have a good stable of wide receivers dalton schultz seemed to kind to be coming back and although the houston texans almost kicked your ass <laughs> i think this team this has hilarious. to compete if they want to go a step further like what's the point of signing obj you have a good wide receiver course like he said good offense dak prescott even though i claim he's trash <laughs> just like no last game you still have a quarterback you have running backs you have a wide receiver course what's the point of signing obj like when i heard the eagles report about oh they might sign obj what's the point we have A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Quez Watkins, and um, I forgot who else. Uh, Zach Pasco. We have a good wide receiver course. Why do we need to get another one who's 30 years old? What's the point? Like, why, Cowboys? Why? Like, this, <laughs> this fucking franchise is not only confusing, but also fucking laughingstock. <laughs> <laughs> and they should probably look elsewhere to get some help. And that's what the Dallas Cowboys ended up doing. Because according to Ian Rappaport and Jane Slater, the Dallas Cowboys have officially decided to sign T.Y. Hilton as opposed to Odell Beckham Jr. So this is coming to us from Rap Sheet. The Cowboys are securing veteran wide receiver help after all, signing longtime Colt star T.Y. Hilton. His agents, Cats Bro Sports, tell me and Jane Slater he's on a visit with the team today and should provide provide help down the stretch and in the playoffs. Look, I would have loved to have Odell Beckham Jr. on the team. I think it would have been a lot of fun to see a Dallas Cowboys star in his helmet. I feel like everyone loves OBJ. People think that he's some sort of locker room cancer, but everyone that's ever been in the locker room with Odell Beckham Jr. absolutely loves him, maybe except for Baker Mayfield. But James Slater had this to say. On the addition of T.Y. Hilton, a team source tells me he's a proven wide receiver with some juice and experience. He can play multiple spots and a team guy that could potentially add some depth to a team more importantly it keeps dallas liquid and able to make other moves this year if they need i gotta admit this is like the most inverse jerry jones like move i think i've ever seen this in my career weird. because jerry jones is notorious for making those big splashy decisions signing the former pro bowl wide receiver who might have some question marks in his personality but over here at this point in time 
I think Jerry Jones made the right play. I'm not expecting T.Y. Hilton to come out here and have multiple 100-yard performances, and I don't think he even needs to. The Cowboys just really needed someone else to play in the slot alongside Michael Gallup and CeeDee Lamb, and I think this is perfect. T.Y. Hilton isn't going to expect you to pay him Michael Gallup-like money, and he should be able to contribute right away. He should be able to play over the next couple weeks this season so he can really get into a groove with the Dallas Cowboys and really figure out what he needs to do to be successful in this scheme. And it allows the Cowboys to have additional money should they want to pursue other players. It makes a lot of sense. It's not the direction I wanted to go, but I understand why the Cowboys are going this way. As for Odell Beckham Jr., what is his fate going to be? Well, we have multiple reports. The first one coming to us from none other, Josina Anderson. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to bring you her take and her report and her information. I don't agree with it. But before I tell you what I feel about this, let me tell you what she said. At the moment, I'm told that the Cowboys feel unsure of how long the tail end of Odell Beckham Jr.'s current rehab will specifically take. Thus, the T.Y. Hilton move today was also just told as of this tweet that Jerry Jones and Odell Beckham's camp are still talking and talks are ongoing. I don't necessarily see something here at this point, guys. I mean, maybe this is something the Cowboys monitor in the offseason, but I don't see why they would if clearly they're in the market for trying to get added muscle for this upcoming playoff push, I don't see why they would entertain Odell Beckham Jr. once again in the offseason. I feel like this is maybe Jerry Jones doing fan service, but I think all hopes and dreams of Odell Beckham Jr. in a Cowboys uniform are officially gone for the reasons yeah. I cited in the earlier portion of this video. I mean, a lot of people might be looking at T.Y. Hilton and saying, hey, this wide receiver isn't even better than Noah Brown, but that's not how wide receiver rooms work. Noah Brown isn't necessarily expected to take the top off of defenses. He's primarily there because he's a phenomenal run blocking wide receiver, but he's not necessarily known as a deep threat. I so guess he is signing for extra support for the wide receiver force. Of T.Y. Hilton or Odell Beckham Jr., with their top priority being obviously a player that could contribute as soon as possible, and their second priority being a player that won't ask for too much money from them. So this makes a lot of sense yeah, because it fulfills both of those requirements. But we also have another report from none other than Jordan Schultz, who says that the Chiefs have stayed in contact with Odell Beckham Jr. throughout his free agency oh. tour. Sources tell the score. There was mutual interest there last year, though I'm told the two parties have yet to schedule a visit. Look, I'm going to be honest. I don't imagine him going to the Kansas City Chiefs. I don't imagine OBJ going to any contender at this point because yeah. if he does go to the Kansas City Chiefs, I really think he's going to get the Le'Veon Bell treatment or he's going to be placed in a similar situation as Kelvin Benjamin was when Kelvin Benjamin was on his last legs with the Chiefs. It's nothing against OBJ and it's not like I think he's not talented or anything like that. It's more the fact that if you could only contribute during the beginning of the NFL playoffs and you're joining Joining a team like the Kansas City Chiefs or the Buffalo Bills or any contending team for that matter, they can't really make you that much of a focal point of their offense. I still think at this point, based upon the interviews that I've shown you guys in this video so far, and based upon all the information I got you guys so far, that the most likely team that Odell Beckham Jr. joins at this point is now the New York Giants. He yeah. has a lot of friends in the New York Honestly. Giants. He's in a very large market with the New York Giants. The Giants do need a true number one wide receiver. They could afford to wait on Odell Beckham Jr. if they wanted to. It's Maybe a move that would bring the locker room closer together. It seems like this team already has tremendous team chemistry. You still have Saquon Barkley and Sterling Shepard there. I know there are other players in that locker room that were once OBJ's teammates. It just makes way too much sense to me for it not to happen at this point. The New York Giants also boast the third most salary cap space in 2023. But there's just way too many factors at this point that just make way too much sense for OBJ not to go to the Giants. It could definitely be another team, don't get me wrong. You might see him on the New England Patriots who have the fourth most cap space, I don't know. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to convey to you guys is Odell Beckham Jr. is probably going to be a play for next year, yep. not necessarily for this year. Let me know in the comment yeah. section down below what you guys think about all this. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping her mic until our next upload. Oh shit, I did not mean to click another video. Yeah, um, 
he's not even going to play the rest of the season. I mean, he said that he's not, or someone said he's not going to play the rest of the season. So, and he wants a, a Michael Gallup kind of contract, which is, what was it, a $4 million, $50, 60000000 million deal? But the Cowboys couldn't do that. So, I guess that's why they kind of went with T.Y. Hilton, because uh, he's not requesting a, uh, a fucking a deal like that. And I just noticed that, like, they probably needed just uh, support for the wide receiver course, because they, they do have C.D. Lamb and Michael Gallup, and yeah, that's about it. So, I guess they just decided to have an extra support for the wide receiver cores but like this whole this whole obj situation it's just been confusing to me it's been weird it's been ridiculous and yeah just there's going to be more rumors about him going to the g's going like in my personal opinion i feel like he might sign with the giants that's just my opinion i just feel like it's like the best rumor that could possibly be flown around is him going back with the giants I just feel like this is like the best place that's been rumored for him to go back, okay? Like a team like the Eagles or the Chiefs, yeah, I, I don't really think so. I don't really think so myself. So yeah, guys, um, like like I said, I'm just now learning about all the situation. Like, like I said, I've been thinking outside the box on Twitter, but now I'm just now watching these videos about the whole OBJ situation. I'm learning a lot. And yeah, with that being said, I'm, I know I'm going to get criticism in the comments because people are going to see me as an Eagles fan. They're going to think I'm salty as hell when really I'm not. I'm just trying to learn why this whole thing is just so ridiculous. So yeah, with that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to Dave's on the family. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue reacting to microphone because these videos are just so interesting. I love them. I might not react to every single video because I went on his channel. He does post daily. So I might not react to every single video. I'm just going to only react to the videos that like stand out to me that I should react to like the whole OBJ situation. I'm going to react to those videos, but like any videos from a player that I barely know much about or don't really care about, I might not react to that, but a video that like stands out to me, I might react to it. So yeah, with that being said, guys, if you enjoy this, be sure to give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to Dave's on the family. With that being said, I'll see you on the next one. So take care.